Technology is advancing at a great pace. Around us, we have so many things invented by science to make human lives easier. If you're feeling hot, air conditioning will cool you down. We have a complex calculation, calculator's got you. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications because what you receive here is completely free. Before we begin, let us ask you a question. In today's video, we're going to talk about another such creation of science, the humanoid robots. You must be wondering what kind of robot is this, having humans in its name? So without wasting much time, let's get started. A robot resembling a human body is shaped in terms of a humanoid robot. It is used for various purposes, such as for experimenting with bipedal locomotion or for functional purposes, like interacting with human tools and the environment. Typically, these robots have a torso, a head, two arms, and two legs. Though some humanoid robots may produce only part of the body, for example, from the waist up. Some humanoid robots also have heads constructed to imitate human facial characteristics, such as eyes and mouths. Androids are humanoid robots assembled to aesthetically resemble humans. The theory of a humanoid robot innated from many different cultures around the world. Some of the earliest accounts of the idea of humanoid automation date to the 4th century, BCE and Greek mythologies, and numerous religions and resemble texts from China. Physical precursors of humanoid automation were later created in the Middle East, Italy, Japan, and France. Humanoid robots are now utilized as exploration tools in several scientific regions. Researchers research the human body configuration and attitude to create humanoid robots. On the other side, the endeavor to mimic the human body directs to a better understanding of it. Human comprehension is a field of study which is concentrated on how humans learn from receptive information in order to develop preceptual and motor abilities. The understanding is used to formulate computational models of human behavior, and it has been enhanced over time. It has been indicated that very progressive robotics will promote the enhancement of ordinary humans. Humanoid robots are predicted to survive and work in a personal relationship with human beings in the ordinary world and attend to the needs of physically challenged people. These robots must be able to overcome the wide variety of tasks and objects experienced in dynamic, underdeveloped climates. Humanoid robots for subjective use for elderly and disabled people must be comfortable and manageable to use. Therefore, humanoid robots need a compact body, great flexibility, several kinds of sensors, and increased intelligence. The successful overtures of these robots in the human settings will bank on the development of human-friendly factors. Now, let us introduce you to some amazing humanoid robots who look exactly like us. Number one, Harmony. She's a California-based robotic and has been in the making since 2016 and can do various things, which include telling jokes and making natural facial expression and noises. It can also talk dirty. Harmony functions by engaging via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to an artificial intelligence Android application called Harmony AI. This application is accessible to everyone. Anyone can download this application, create an avatar, and start building a friendship with their virtual lover. Experts say that Harmony is capable of detecting its users' moods, behavior patterns, and preferences. It also responds according to the user and establishes a vision of familiarity. They are loaded with touch sensors, accelerometers, and internal heaters to increase the reactions of the robot. Number two, Nadine. Nadine is a gynoid humanoid social robot that is shaped by Professor Nadina Magneta Thalman. The robot has a shape human likeness with natural looking skin and hair and realistic hands. Nadine is a socially creative robot that returns an address, brings in eye contact, and can recall all the chatters had with it. It is able to resolve questions autonomously in various languages and emulate feelings both in gestures and facially, relying on the subject of the business with the user. Nadine can recognize individuals that is once seen and engaged in streaming conversation. Nadine has been programmed with a personality in that its demeanor can shift according to what is told. Nadine has a whole of 27 degrees of freedom for facial manners and upper body activities. With persons it has previously confronted, it recollects facts and incidents related to every person. It can encourage people with special desires by reading tales, displaying images, putting on Skype rounds, sending emails, and articulating with other members of the family. 
It can play the role of a host in an office. It can play the role of a host in an office or be committed to being a subjective coach. Nadine was assembled using Advent robotic technology to mimic human behavior. She has 3D depth cameras, microphones, and webcams to summon visual and audio inputs. Then, various visibility layers process these intakes to comprehend different faces, gestures, emotions, behavior, etc., and then respond consequently. Nadine also has inbuilt chatbots that allow her to deal with different questions and a memory prototype that recalls several users and discussions with them. In addition to all this, Nadine can also communicate in six languages, English, German, French, Chinese, Hindi, and Japanese, so you won't have any difficulties conversing with her. Number three, Sophia. Sophia is a social humanoid robot created by the Hong Kong-based corporation Hanson Robotics. Sophia was prompted in February of 2016 and made her first public impression in mid-March 2016 at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, United States. Sophia has been encircled by media around the earth and has contributed to many high-profile meetings. In October 2017, Sophia was provided Saudi Arabian citizenship and came to be the first robot to obtain citizenship of any nation. In November 2017, Sophia was nominated for the United Nations Development Program's First Innovation Champion and is the initial non-human to be bestowed a United Nations title. The robot, designed after the ancient Egyptian green Nefertiti, Audrey Hepburn, and its inventor spouse Amanda Hansen, is known for its human-like manifestation, an attitude correlated to previous robotic variants. Hansen designed Sophia to be a suitable friend for the elderly at nursing homes or to assist crowds on large occasions or in the parks. He has announced that he wishes that the robot can eventually interact with other humans adequately to increase social skills. Sophia is traded as a social robot that can simulate civil behavior and elicit feelings of love in humans. A computer conception algorithm filters information from cameras within Sophia's eyes, providing Sophia optical data on its surroundings. It can attend to faces, maintain eye contact, and understand individuals. It can refine conversations and have discussions using a normal language subsystem. Around January 2018, Sophia was promoted with functional legs and the proficiency to walk. Number four, Erica. When you follow the news, you get to realize the latest updates from the news commentator. But now that news commentator might be a robot. If you're in Japan, you might be receiving your customary news from Erica. The name of the humanoid is Erica and it was established by the acclaimed humanoid robotist Horishio Egusio, along with colleague scientist Gohia Agoa. The two inventors are said to have programmed Erica in a skill of method acting, in which an actor strives to complete expressive identification with a part. Given that Erica has no feelings of her own, she would have to depend on the algorithm incorporated into her undertaking to mimic whatever feelings are required. The film Erica was starring is just called B, and is being supported by Bonded Capital Media, which recently funded titles comprising Oscar-nominated Loving Vincent. She is one of the most intelligent humanoids developed in Japan, with outstanding articulation in her speech abilities. While Erica cannot stroll, she can effortlessly interact with human beings and alter her facial mood, according to the discussion. Number five, Jia Jia. Guess who is named the robot goddess of China? It's Jia Jia a humanoid robot created by a squad from the University of Science and Technology of China. She is deemed the most beautiful woman in China, and this impact is only improved by the fact that she can communicate with people and answer back to them. Thus, her speech patterns are not polished enough, but she makes up for it by looking precisely human-like because of her eye movements and speech-lip synchronization. Jia Jia can hold an easy discussion and make particular facial representation when asked and her creator speculated that the eerily lifelike robot hails a fate of cyborg labor in China. Team leader Chen Xiangping shrieked like a proud father as he and his model emerged recently at an economic conference organized by trusting giant UBS in Shanghai's Futuristic Monetary Center. Chen foresaw that possibly within a decade, artificial intelligent robots like Jia Jia would begin conducting a range of menial chores in Chinese restaurants, nursing homes, hospitals, and households. She was able to accurately to resolve a query about the day's weather, hold fundamental conversations, and recognize the gender of her questionnaires. 
The humanoid is constructed to comprehend human and machine relations. It also has independent position and navigation. The entire action is regulated by cloud technology. So now you see how fast our technology is advancing. People are replaced by robots, and how amazing is that? Hit like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to stay updated for more such videos.